Uh, coming into the last uh, 10 minutes of uh, broadcasting on the beach with uh, Halftime Howie, and uh, I'm really excited about working with uh, Long Beach High School, and uh, I think with all the fundraisers we have planned, it, it's going to really make a huge impact in the community. What do you think, Jennifer? I honestly think it's a great opportunity for you know the community to be more involved with the high school because it's it's Long Beach. It, it's generations of the generations, and it's all one big family. So being able to connect with Long Beach as a whole with the students in the community, I think it's outstanding. And it's for a great cause to raise money for Miss Wilson and. A lot of students are out there rooting for her and, you know, wishing that she's okay. She's a wonderful teacher. Hey, guys, you know, your band is good. I'm sure it's good. You, you guys are awesome, but you're missing something. You know, you know what you're missing? No. You know what you're missing? You're missing a female vocalist. You don't have a female vocalist. No. Right. My daughter, Lindsay, who's an awesome singer, is going to be singing on the 4th. At just wing it, so maybe we can make it connect something out. What do you think? Yeah. I've um, always dreamed of singing with women. Making <laughs> beautiful, beautiful music with another counterpart, but uh, I don't know, Josh, how do you feel about that? <laughs> oh boy. Um, no, that's definitely a great idea. This is the wing it. Um, yeah, yeah, we're gonna have right. a big entertainment. She's right. gonna be singing. Okay, yeah, get her together with us. Let's work something out. I'm excited. Josh is single. I'm, I'm, you know, I get to meet a lot of twins in my days. You guys are like have so many different interests, but the one, the twin who was the swimmer and the surfer, I want to ask you what it's like swimming for the Long Beach legend, Woody Davis. Because I've interviewed Woody many times on my radio show and TV show. The man is a legend and he just never retires because the kids love him. What's it like swimming for the Long Beach legend? Woody Davis. <laughs> like you said, he's a legend. I really, I love him so much. He's such a great coach. And you know what? I started swimming, and I didn't know how to swim. And Woody and John Scudin, they're both really great coaches, and they taught me so much. I love him. I love him so much. Really, I'm going to miss him when I go to college, honestly. Yeah. Swimmers have told me in the past, when they get to college, it's a letdown, because after Woody, anything else fails in comparison. Definitely. Steve, come up here. Steve is my man, does a great job. And uh, uh, Steve, I, I gave you uh, two responsibilities now. You can do the restaurant segment and the beach volleyball segment. Talk about what you thought about the taste of Long Beach. And, and I think it's great because it's going to help the, the, uh, the, the, the library raise some money for them and help some of the restaurants. And let's face it, in Long Beach, especially on the E, um, the East End it kind of is a little slow in the winter months, so I think it's a great idea. What do you think? Yeah, I think it's a great opportunity. I mean, one of the things that's always unfortunate is that we, during the winter times, people have the tendency to kind of like hibernate a little bit and they don't go out as much. But uh, we have some really, really great restaurants, and you know, there's no reason for people to, to leave our little island, you know, to get a, a great meal. Uh, there are plenty of places right here in town. Yeah, um, the Lola's, that's going to be on January 18th, uh, a tasting mm -hmm. from 5.30 to 7. And uh, so myself, good. Walter, Steve, we're all going to be there uh, eating those delicious hors d'oeuvres. And uh, Jennifer wants to be there as well. And uh, yeah, Gavin, so there. Oh, you, you work, work there? I work out. Uh, all right, so what you, you know what? That's a perfect thing. We were thing. hoping that David would be here tonight. tonight. Hey. You know, he was supposed to come, obviously, got a little tied up. But uh, Chef Livingston, talk about Lola's and what an awesome restaurant it is. Honestly, just being a part of, of working with everyone there is, first of all, amazing. I love everyone there. And the food is outstanding. Chef David, I don't know where he comes up with half his recipes, but it's amazing. The taste is, makes your taste better. Can you make sure he shows up uh, next week, Chef David? Sure, I'll all right. make that. Put a little, put a little pressure <laughs> on him. All right, and uh, Gavin, you got some more stuff coming up. And uh, Gavin, I've made you and Tommy Mundy my uh, committee chairman about getting businesses in Long Beach to go to raffles for the uh, thing coming up. Because we want to make this thing huge on the 4th of January at Just Wing It. Well, definitely. Uh, we need this as big as possible. And for all uh, establishments in Long Beach, if you could donate anything, a gift card, $25 gift card, uh, uh, anything, a coupon, you know, a gift basket. We already have the Long Beach Historical Center 
donating a, ba a gift basket. So, uh, we're, if, you, if anyone can uh, donate, you can contact me at 516-805-7950. And uh, we really need a, we really need a lot of help here. So, uh, and as much help as we can get, it would be awesome. So, uh, thank you. <laughs> Jennifer, talk about the enthusiasm of the school for this event coming up. Are you guys getting the kids really excited about uh, just wing it, uh, wing it, uh, eating wing it competition? Most definitely. We are most excited and talking, Gavin and I versus Gavin as the athlete he is and me in the music and drama uh, musical department kids. I'm excited to see uh how it comes out, music first athlete, you know, see who comes out to win in the end, and, you know, we're going to see who we rally up, you know, six first, six. <coughs> what? Uh, <laughs> and uh, also, teachers who are participating, uh, it'll be amazing. Great event. And what, what thing we love to do on this show is uh, we love to promote uh, people who've accomplished great things, and uh, you guys have to be very, very um, proud of Sophie Crowley, uh, one of your classmates who won a very prestigious uh, writing award, uh, representing Long Beach uh, very well. So, talk about Sophie and, and the great contributions she's made, and all the great things she does at Long Beach High School. <laughs> well, definitely, whenever there's a student in. Uh, in the neighborhood that we like, that uh, Wint gets uh, awarded for such a prestigious thing. She uh, obviously won a national writing award. We wanted her on the show tonight for the two-hour special, but uh, she's actually spending her night at uh, the city hall at a meeting, part of her part in government uh, class. But uh, Sophie Corwin, she received the 2010 Achievement Award in Writing from the National Council of Teachers of English. So uh, she's, she'll probably be on the show next week, and... Uh, we love to uh, talk about her and get people who are most aware of what's going on. Enhance the uh, education on the show. Uh, yeah. Definitely <laughs> show the song. Different yeah. great people on the show, and uh, yeah, that's cool. That's cool. So cool so being here, and uh, just like uh, we uh, we uh, had uh, Shannon Romig on the uh, the week before. Uh, so that was great. And after the show, we're all headed to uh, get a plug in for the Cabana Taco Tuesdays. And uh, my man over here is going to play. You come up to play at Taco Tuesdays. Yeah. Make an impact. Halftime Howie's looking out for me. I like it. <laughs> play at the Cabana, right? That's where we're going. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I'm very excited. I think just when it's good, it's good. <laughs> And Steve, you are more than anybody. You love taco. I remember the one day we went to taco. We couldn't get a table, and we went somewhere else. And Steve, I've never seen you so disappointed. You love Taco Tuesdays more than anybody at the Cabana. Uh, I was a little, I was a little disappointed. We uh, we ended up somewhere else. And it, it, it just wasn't the same. <laughs> you know, we came back the following week, and uh, we uh, we more than made up for it. So what do you guys think about the twin report? One does the surf, the other plays the guitar. What do you What do you think about this, uh, Jennifer? Our sisters are twins. And their sisters are twins. Oh wow! Yeah, great. Right, yeah. I think it's it'll be a great addition, and it's, I just I just think that's amazing. One twin, you know, giving us a news report on on surfing, and another, you know, giving us and entertaining us with their lovely talent. Very very pleased. Now, your, your brother is a, has a music bag. You never got the music bug like your brother? Oh, no, I have the, uh, the music bug. Uh, <laughs> me and Gavin are both in our uh, high school chorus and select choir. So we both have that music bug, just like Jenny and Josh. All right, okay. All right, so it's, it all runs in the family. All right. The, the real passion is the guitar, right? Yeah. All right. Excellent. Excellent. Steve, I gotta ask you real quick, let's do a little sports event. Were you, sh were you shocked that the Jets beat Pittsburgh? Because they looked awful against the Patriots. Miami was a big letdown. Not too many people gave them a shot. I think it was a huge victory for the Jets. Were you surprised? I don't know that I was surprised. I mean, I was certainly watching the game and rooting for them the whole game. Uh, Sanchez was a little bit more comfortable. Uh, you know, that, that could have uh, been kind of disastrous. Uh, not having a, a, a one particular Pittsburgh defensive star in the game, uh, I think uh, definitely uh, made things a little bit easier. Uh, but they caught a couple breaks, and uh, I think they, they played pretty well. 
under the circumstances. And uh, you know, look, they're they're uh, they're back on pace. And uh, I don't know about if they're going to take the division now. Uh, that might be kind of uh, out of reach. But uh, wild card. Wild card is certainly in the cards, and they could be. You know, I mean, that's that's still pretty much up in the air. Uh, but uh, I think uh, they have a pretty good shot. All right, we're going to uh, wrap up the show. Thanks to Tom Ross back in the shop for a great job engineering two hours. Thanks to John Duddy. Thanks to all the Long Beach students. Thanks to Steve, Tommy Monday, my main man, Walter. John Duddy was awesome. Everybody was awesome. Taste of Long Beach was awesome. Everybody had a great time. And now we close with this. My name is Halftime. I want to thank you for your time. Please join us next Tuesday night for an edition of Halftime. But at this time, we are out of, out of time. See you next.